Hello, today's video is on stock number 33992MI, three event timer. Uh, as you can see, just starting up when you power it up, it's, it's only uh, 24 hour mode. There is no AM or PM, so keep that in mind. Uh, it also comes with a little coin cell, a CR1220, to uh, keep, keep the clock running when you lose power. Uh, it will only run the internal clock. It will not drive the display. It will not drive the relay. It's just there for keeping the time accurate if you lose power. Uh, it does operate off of 12 volt DC, which you can hook up through this uh, terminal block. Uh, keep in mind, try to keep a reasonably well regulated 12 volt supply. Uh, we were running into an issue where these little capacitors only rated at 16 volts and people were using a very poorly regulated power supply and, and causing those to, to overheat. Okay, uh, you have a single pole, single throw relay uh, output through this terminal block. And let's see, what else do I need to talk about? Okay, well, let's get into the programming. Uh, when you first power it up, as you see, it starts off at 0000. Uh, to get into changing the time, you have a set button, a uh, left and right button, an up and a down button. So you first press the set button once and you get PO. Now that is programming the time itself. You press it again and you start, you see that that starts flashing. You can use the up and down arrow to change the time. If you press and hold the button, it will cycle to your time so you can do it that method or you have the side to side button which will allow you to go through each each setting and once it's blinking you can do up or down you simply leave it alone and after a few seconds it will go back to uh, displaying the real time okay that's how you set the time for it now let's get into setting the uh, the on and off times for your relays on your on your three cycles Okay, press again. Once you see the PO, you use the up and down arrow. P1 is your first on time for your relay. Press the set again. Comes in at 6. There again, you, you use the up and down arrow or the side to side to set when you want the relay to turn on. Press the set button again. You have P1. Now, P2 is the off time for the first cycle. Press the set button again. And you can use the the buttons to change it however you like. Now that's the first cycle. Press again the set button. Press the up arrow. P3 is the on time for the second cycle. Press set again. As the other ones, you simply use the side to side or the up and down buttons to set when you want the on time. Press the set button again. And the up arrow, P4, is the off time. For the second cycle. Press the set button again. There again you can use up and down arrows side to side. Set, set your, your off time. Press the set button again. P5 is the on time for your third cycle. There again press the set button. Change it however you would like. Oops. Let's try that. Now, press the set button again, and P6 is your off time. Now, let's say you only want two cycles. How do you, how do you not use all three? Well, you make them the same time. So, press again. Starts off at zero. That actually is the right time. So, zero, it's, the on time is zero. The off time is zero. So, it'll, it, it will just bypass. Uh, I did try, you know, having some... Uh, you know, cycle one and cycle two overlay their time. Uh, the relay just stays on. So if you just let you know about that, uh, that's how you would not use a cycle. Next, uh, has set again. You have P7. Uh, P7 is listed as a time calibration. Uh, not gotten a good explanation on what exactly that does, but if you were to hit the set, it comes factory set at zero, and you can run it all the way to 25.
to minus 25. Uh, there again, what it exactly does, I'm yet to hear back before making this video of what it does. If I do find out, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, let's see, what else do we need to explain about the part? I think that shows all the major workings of programming. Uh, hopefully this answers your questions. And thank you for watching our video.